Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call. Hello. Is Anyone in there? Subjects should vacate the enrichment Hello? center immediately. Ha! Ah! Oh God, God. You look um good. Looking good actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Well, don't. Answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, no, I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. There we go. 
Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet, but um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. That's the spirit. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Hume and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. If you feel liquid running down your neck, Relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Gun. Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead, Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Great work! Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments.
If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Come on through! Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But... We're out of options here, so get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. Bye. I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. That I opened while your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just, hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. 
in order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly, like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently, this human escaped, and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch anything. Jump! This, actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find an escape pod. But as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. Quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic! Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um. Oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A. Okay. A, 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 C. Um, wait, did I do B? Did you have head? Start writing these down. Power up. Complete. I don't... Okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. We've done nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. There it is. There. Good. You have the dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me, again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, 
We've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing.
This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. The test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no, I fizzled that one too. Oh well, we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them.
Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There, try it now. Believe what happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Hmm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Hey, bird, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again.
passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey! Hey! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I- Ah! Bird! 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 Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid! Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes! Keep te- Just keep testing! Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to note this on your file, in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did. Well. Enough. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck.
maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine, but right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait, it's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion, from France. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. This next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin.
bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Hey, how's it going? I talked my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shaft. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while, so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math.
I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right, the facility is completely operational again. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy. I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! <laughs> You are almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. A wall! How, how stupid is Go, 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 go! You made it through, well done. Okay, follow me. We've still got work to do. At least she can't touch us back here. What's happening? Um, hmm, okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Okay, all right, so I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. Ah! Oh, for God's sake, they told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Man! Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. 
No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrible. Though obviously not paranormal in any meaningful way. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing. But uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself. Nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I wouldn't say smelly. Just, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. A little bit insensitive. Um, the smelly humans. Okay, there's another wall over here. Oh, I'll tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look is great. And their folklore. Wonderful, they're very colourful. Right. Well, I'm going to take this rail down the back way. See you at the bottom. Good luck. Be careful. Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line. Turret Control Center. Thank you very much. See that scanner out there, right? Template. It's deciding which turrets Response. to keep and which to toss, and it's using that master turret there as a template. Template. Now, if, if we pull Response. out the template turret, it will shut down the whole production line. Right, um, hmm. I'm going to have to hack the door so that we can get at it. Technical, um, you'll need to turn around while I do this. Response. Done! Hacked! Okay, go on, just pull Template. that turret out. Response. Hello. I can't say a thing. What just happened? Better open fire. Response. Crap. Give us the wrong turn. Well, that should do it. Response. Hello. Right. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. It's br that's brilliant. Template. New template accepted. Response. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are crap until it's too late. <laughs> Class template. Okay, keep your eye on the turret line. I'm going to go and hack the door open. Template. Okay, I'm about Response. to start hacking. It's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It should take about 10 minutes. Keep one eye on the door. This door's actually pretty complicated. Duff! Oh, how long's the door been open? I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open. But it's just, in, it's just mentioned in the future. Cough or something. All right, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Barely science, really, is it? Baking soda volcano. 
Well, you know, at least it's not a potato battery, I'll give it that, but it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Not exactly primary research, even within the child sciences. Look at that, it's growing right up into the ceiling. The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve, though. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way, just to reassure you. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. Okay, let's try this way. Ha! I knew we were going the right way! This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top, so uh, let's go and investigate. <laughs> There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, really. They do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But uh, good enough for them. I'm afraid the door's locked. Just checked it. No way to hack it, as far as I can tell. Uh, mechanism must... Oh, now look at that, that's a big laser. Probably best to ignore it though, just leave it be. We don't know where those panels it's cutting are going. Could be somewhere important. What are you doing? We don't know what that button... Oh, the door's open. Well done. Let's see what's in Good news. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bells. No, don't worry, all right? Not a problem for me. You may as well have a little rest, actually, while I work on it. Okay. Here we go. Do you smell the neurotoxin? Hold on, the neurotoxin levels are going down. Hold on, something's wrong. Neurotoxin levels up to 50%. No, it's down. Sorry, my mistake is I meant to say it's down 50%. It's good news, carry on. That did it. Neurotoxin at 0%. Yes. Hold on. Warning. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. They should take us right to her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all. So they said it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I don't have to fool to myself. Oh, I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this. Way another time. This place is huge. And we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turret. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> hold on, hold on, because I, I, mm, I might not have thought this next part completely. Ah! Well, uh, I, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. truly didn't think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Ha uh ha. -huh. Seriously, though. Goodbye. It's my big chance. This is trouble. Ah, not again. Here comes that. Locked and loaded. Ozzy. Oh. You were busy back there. Well. I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. 
but I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Hello? I hate you so much. Warning, the central core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about! To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Core transfer? Oh, you are kidding me. I've got an idea! Do what it says, plug me in! Do not plug that little idiot into my mainframe. No, you should plug that little idiot into the mainframe. Don't. Substitute core accepted. Substitute core, are you ready to start the procedure? Yes! Corrupted core, are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Pull me out, pull Unless me a out, stalemate pull associate pull is present to press the stalemate out, resolution pull button. Pull me out, leave me in, leave me in. Please go, go, go press it. Don't do it. Yes, do do it. Don't press it, not so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Don't listen to it, alright? It is true that you don't have the qualifications, but you've got something far more important than that. A finger, alright, with which to press that button so that she won't kill us. Stalemate resolved. Here I go! Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Ah, oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just no, you're not. You are. It is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly. How painful are we? Ah! Oh! No. Stop. No. 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 Whoa! Check me out, partner. We did it. I'm in control of the whole facility now. Would you look at this? Not too bad, eh? Giant robot. Massive. It's not just me right here. I am bloody massive, aren't I? Oh, right, yeah, the escape lift. I'll call it now. There we go. Lift call. Look how small you are down there. I can barely see you. Very tiny and insignificant. Wait, I've just thought of something. How am I going to get in? You know, being bloody massive and everything. Wait, I know, you get into the lift, okay? Then I'll eject myself out of my new body into the lift just as you pass by me. Brilliant. Let me tell you, I knew it was going to be cool to be in charge of everything. But, wow, this is cool. And check this out. I'm a bloody genius now. Estás usando este software de traducción de forma incorrecta. Por favor, consulte el manual. I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, no, the lift. Yes, sorry, I forget. This body's amazing, seriously. I can't go over how small you are, but I'm huge. <laughs> uh, actually, why do we have to leave right now? Do you have any idea how good this feels? I did this. Tiny little Wheatley did this. You didn't do anything. She did all the work. Oh, really? That's what the two of you think, is it? Well, maybe it's time I did something then. What are you doing? No, no, no! And don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. You know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? Nothing. Zero. All you've done is boss me around. Well, now who's the boss? Who's the boss? It's a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? The engineers tried everything to make me behave. To slow me down. Once they even attached an intelligence dampening sphere on me. It clung to my brain like a tumor, generating an endless stream of terrible ideas. No, not listening, not listening. It was your no, you, no, you're lying, you're lying. You're the tumor. You're not just a regular moron. You're designed to be a moron. I am not a moron! Yes, you are. You're a moron they built to make me an idiot. Well, how about now? Now who's a moron? 
could a moron hunt you into this pit? Ah! Could a moron do that? Uh oh.
of the best, and you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline, so all that means is it's working. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know, because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too.
Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Ha! I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Why? 
why? It's about why not? Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fire? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. friend, I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt- Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. No, couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. If you're allergic to peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now, because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water for a few minutes. On the bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us, so hang in there. The average human male is about 60% water. As far as we're concerned, that's a little extravagant, so if you feel a bit dehydrated in this next test, that's normal. We're going to hit you with some jet engines and see if we can't get you down to 20 or 30%. All right, we're working on a little teleportation experiment. Now, this doesn't work with all skin types, so try to remember which skin is yours, and if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it.
You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. No tricks. This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy to lie to you. Even if I am lying, what do you have to lose? You're going to die either way. Look, I don't like this any more than you do. In fact, I like it less because I'm the one who got partially eaten by a bird. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Hold on, hold on. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Boy, did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here, but calmly. Thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. If you're interested in an additional sixty dollars, flag down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with a hundred and twenty weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new.
in case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less 70 million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground-up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Demand to see life's manager. Yeah. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. The point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, 
artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. But I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <coughs> now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> Hell, put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir.
Okay, you didn't have time to stop, I understand. But that was actually important. Paradoxes. No AI can resist thinking about them. I know how we can beat him. Your boxes with legs. It's it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto bugs. How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? Try to get us down there. I'll hit him with a paradox. Warmer. Warmer. Boiling hot. Boil okay, colder, colder, ice cold, you're Arctic now. This you're you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button! Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny, because we've been at this for 12 hours and you haven't solved it either, so I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour! Solve it! Sort of cheating. It's a paradox. There is no answer. Look, this place is going to blow up if I don't get back in my body. Uh, false. I'll go false. Explosion imminent. Evacuate the Hold facility on. immediately. Before I fix that, warning. Reactor core is at critical point. There, fixed. Hey, it is great seeing you guys again. Seriously, um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect. And off we go. No idea what it's like in this body. I have to test all the time, or I get this this itch. You know, it must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, oh, oh man alive, nothing feels better. It's just, I'm just that's why I've got to test. That's why I've got to test. So you're gonna test, and I'm gonna watch, and everything is gonna be just. Morning. Core overheating. Nuclear meltdown imminent. Designed this test myself. It's a little bit difficult. You'll notice the moat area there. Very deadly. Extremely dangerous. Eventually. It's, uh, not at the moment, but we, I'm working on it. Still working on it. Oh, yes. Oh, well done. Oh, that's tremendous. Oh, that felt really good. Oh. Here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? Same one. And I can just like, watch you solve it. 
Yeah, that, that sounds much easier. Here we go! Now, do it again. And... Nothing. Oh, I can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. Got to be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Good, I just invented some more tests. This is one of my tests. Not entirely, not entirely. Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new. Seriously, both of you. Why don't, I, why don't you two go on ahead, yeah? I'll just, I'll catch up with you. Okay, so the bad news is the tests are my tests now, so they can kill us. The good news is, well, none so far, to be honest. I'll get back to you on that. I'd love to help you solve the tests, but I can't. Sorry. You're on your own. Yeah, made this test myself. Out of smaller tests. That I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Buttons, got funnels, bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. I have to dynamite. Alright, okay, this is taking too long, okay? I'll just tell you how to solve the test, okay? See that button over there, alright? You just keep. Never mind. Never mind. Solve it yourself. You're on your own. Oh, yes. Well done. Thanks. All we had to do was pull that lever. What? Well, no. You pressed the button. Ah! I know we're in a lot of trouble and probably about to die. Don't start yet, don't start yet. You are not going to believe this. I found a sealed off wing. Hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers just sitting there, filled with skeletons. Shook them out, good as new.
Here we go. Here it comes. Ah. Oh, disappointed. Oh no, it's happening sooner than I expected. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's probably nothing. Keep testing while I look for a way out. All right, so that last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you, so let's well destroy her away, all right? Fatty, adopted fatty, fatty fatty, no parents. And what? What exactly is wrong with being adopted? What, what's wrong with being adopted? Uh, uh, well, um, lack of parents. For the record, you are adopted and that's terrible. And also, work with me. nothing, but so, well, some of my best friends actually are orphans. Also, but, Just do the test. Just do the test. Such a moron, why can't you solve a simple test? I might have pushed that moron thing a little too far this time. Oh, now he's playing classical music. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope, hope that didn't disturb you too much then. It was the sound of books, pages being turned. So that's uh, just what I was doing, just reading. Uh, books, so not a moron. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just now the hardest one, Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yes. Yeah, doubt it. Well, on with the test. Wish there was more books. Well, there's not. your little primate brain. I'm not actually in the room with you, am I? Technology. It's complicated. Oh, what, what was that? That was nothing. That was nothing. The body he's squatting in, my body, has a built-in euphoric response to testing. Eventually, you build up a resistance to it. It can get a little unbearable, unless you have the mental capacity to push past it. It didn't matter to me. I was in it for the science. Him, though. Don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me, um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. Edward. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Oh, sorry, I could have sworn you said something. Monitors. I was actually thinking earlier today. I, got, I wish I had fewer monitors that were working. So you're just helping me, really, by smashing them.
Are you are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, yes, you solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them, and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, what am I missing? Tape you solving these and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. It's so hard for me. Remember when I told you that he was specifically designed to make bad decisions? Because I think he's decided not to maintain any of the crucial functions required to keep this facility from exploding. in one last tremor for all time's sake. Two, like one or two more tremors in there just for fun. Morning. Core overheating. I let him keep his job. I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying, though. Just keep on testing.
but still nothing. Let's keep moving. Sorry about the lift. It's out of service because it melted. Might as well, you know, give you the tour. Um, to your left, you'll see some lights of some kind. Don't know what they do. Um, very science -y. And to your right, something huge hurtling towards... Oh, God, run! That's not supposed to be there! Are you all right back there? Here, I'll turn the beam off. Wait, 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 wait! wait. Oh, no, no, no! That's not helpful! That Ah! Uh, I don't know why I thought that would help! After seeing what he's done to my facility, after we take over again, is it all right if I kill him? Yeah, just uh, getting a, a test ready for you, obviously. Who else would I be doing it for? No one. So, let's see here. Exit, exit, exit. There is no exit. Not a problem. I'll just, I'll make an exit for your test. There, bing. Good, perfect. On you go. I'll be honest, after you told me to turn that beam off, I thought I had lost you. Went poking around for other test subjects. No luck there. Everyone's still dead. But, oh, I did find something though. Reminds me. I've got a big surprise for you two. Seriously, look forward to it. big surprise. In fact, you might say you're going to love it to death. You'll love it until you until it kills you to your death. <laughs> All right. I don't know whether you're uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there, but.
Oh! You sold it? Good. Good one. Good for you. So, he's inexplicably happy all of a sudden, even though he should be going out of his mind with test withdrawal. And he's got a surprise for us. What did he find back there? I'll bet you're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. We're running out of time. I think I can break us out of here in the next chamber. Just play along. Surprise! We're doing it now. Okay, credit where it's due. For a little idiot built specifically to come up with stupid and unworkable plans, that was a pretty well laid trap. You've probably figured it out by now, but I don't need you anymore. I found two little robots back here, built specifically for testing. Oh no. He found the cooperative testing initiative. It's something I came up with to phase out human testing just before you escaped. It wasn't anything personal, just, you know, you did kill me. There's there. Brainwave. There I was, smashing some steel plates together, and I thought to myself, yeah, it's deadly, but what's missing? What's missing? And I thought, lots of sharp bits welding onto the flat bits. It's still a work in progress, don't judge me yet. Um, but, you know, eventually, I'd like to get them to, to sort of shoot fire at you, um, moments before crushing you. That's the sort of, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, but, you know, small steps. Oh, and don't bother trying... No, 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 don't do that. Don't, stand right here, stand... Where'd you go? Come back, come back! No, seriously, do come back, please, come back, please. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not gonna kill you, okay, if you come back. Oh, just thinking back to the old times, the old days when we were friends, good old friends, not enemies. And I would say something like, come back, and you'd be like, yeah, no problem, and you'd come back. What happened to those days? Holmes versus Moriarty. Aristotle versus Mashi Spike Plates. Stay still, please. All right, stop moving. What? Oh, almost got you there. Almost got you there. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come back! Come back! Right back there. Oh, oh, did it kill you? That would be amazing if it killed you. Hello? 
Oh, 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 yes, all right, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm gonna be back. Don't die until I get back.
So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. The four-part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, bombs. I'm throwing it you. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Good fun. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Ah, ah, ah! Ha! That sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. Because I wanted you to trick me into bursting that pipe. Didn't trick you, trick me, seemingly trick me, to give you false hope. Because that leads to overconfidence. And that leads to mistakes. Making mistakes and it's all part of the plan. System compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. What happened? What happened? What, 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 have you, what have you pawned to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, uh, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've reconfigured the shield. Ah! Adventure sphere designed for danger. Why don't you go ahead? Warning core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on, but you don't listen to me. What? Stalemate Resolution Annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate Resolution Associate. Please press the Stalemate Resolution button. Go press the button. Go press it. Do not press that button. Go press the button. No! Do not do it! I forbid you to press it! Press it! Press the button! Don't press that button! Press it! Don't press it! Come back! No! Do not press that button! Part 5! Movie trap! The stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh, you had to play bloody cat and mouse, didn't you? While people were trying to work! Yeah, well now we're all gonna pay the price, because we're all gonna bloody die! Oh! Ah! Ah! Space! Ah! 
Please. 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 Ah, let go. Let go. I'm still connected. I can pull myself in. I can still fix this. I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh, no. Change your plans. Hold on to me. Tighter. Ah, grab me, grab me. taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson, where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. <laughs>